everyone it's Kendra Hammers Kincaid thank you guys so much for tuning in so today I would love to show you guys how I was able to style my jumbo box braids so if you guys would love to see then definitely keep on watching all right you guys before we get started um, I know some of you asked in the last video how I parted my hair in the back and I definitely wanted to show you guys so that you guys will have some idea of how I did that this was the hardest part and the most time-consuming part of the whole process but I love the way that it turned out so yeah I parted it in rolls and then I um, sectioned off my triangles all right, you guys, let's jump right into this tutorial. So first, I'm going to start by taking one of my head um, wraps, scrunchy, whatever you want to call it, hair tie or whatever. And I'm going to pull my hair back, but I'm going to take out my statement braids, the braids that I added, you know, little jewels to or little statement pieces to. So I'm going to take those out because I kind of want those to be showcased in this top knot. So I'm just gathering all of my hair and then I'm just going to simply twist it in the top knot. But before I twist it all the way around, I'm going to go ahead and pull up those two braids. OK, I'm not going to add them to the twisted hair, but I'm just going to pull them up so that they will stick out of the middle of the top knot as such. So yeah, I'm going to keep wrapping the hair around and then I'm just going to simply tuck it under. All right, now I'm going to take those two pieces and basically wrap them around the top knot and then I'm also going to tuck them under and we're done with the top knot, you guys. This is pretty much the final look of the top knot. Really simple to do, but really cute and trendy. On to our next style this one I call the flip over because all I'm going to be doing is just flipping the braids over to one side of my head whatever side I have my statement piece on which I have one on each side just so that I can have the versatility of flipping it on either side <laughs> depending on which side of my edges look the best honey yes so yeah so I like to show the statement pieces when I flip it over as you can see the red the green and the yellow um, statement braid there and if you want to make sure it's nice and secure, all I do is I take a hair tie and I just um, take like the top layer of braids and I wrap it around that hair tie, push it up. And this ensures that the braids don't fall forward and fall back over to the other side. So yeah, like I said, I've been wearing my hair like this in this style because I love it. All right, you guys, moving on to the next style. This one has to be the probably the easiest style. All I'm gonna do is take the front braids and tie them back into a ponytail. Um, just the front braids. I'm going to take my um, hair tie and just tie that and secure it. And that is the style, girl. And I love this style as well. Add a couple of flowers to that, girl. Yes, you'd be looking like a queen. Love it. All right, you guys, on to the next style. I'm going to be creating two space buns. So I'm gonna try to even out the braids on each side. And then I'm gonna, it's real simple, you guys, just like I did the one top knot, it's just like I'm gonna do two top knots. One on each side of my head, so I'm just gonna twist my hair into a bun and wrap it and tuck it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. This is probably one of my favorite looks with these jumbo braids. It just gives it such a cute look. And you guys know space buns are really in right now. They're really cute, really trendy, really playful. And you can jazz them up as well. And I really, really love this look. It's just so cute. All right, you guys, the next style is fairly easy. I'm just gonna take down one of those space buns and I'm going to flip the hair over to the other space bun and simply wrap it around that space bun to create an even bigger bun. I love this style for more formal events. It's really cute. Wait until I turn around and show you guys the back of the hair. It gives it a little elegant look, you know? So I really did enjoy this whenever I had, you know, to get all dressed up and fancy and whatnot. So yeah, this is the look and I really love it. All 
All right, you guys, so here is my last look. I just gathered all of the hair right on top of my head. You guys know how heavy box braids are. These are fairly heavy, not too much um, where they were unbearable, but they were quite heavy. So I wanted to come up with a style that was comfortable for the top of my head. So I put all of my hair up in this bun and I split it into two. And now I'm just twisting one of the sections. And after I twist that section, I'm just gonna go ahead and twist that or put that section to the back, basically wrap it around that hair tie, bring it to the front. And I'm going to secure it by putting it underneath the hair tie so it's gonna keep that hair in place so that it, it won't slide out and then go ahead and tuck it as well. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and I'm basically gonna wrap it um, the opposite direction so that it kind of looks like a little heart but not so much a heart, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm just gonna wrap it and do the same thing, twist it under and go ahead and tuck it underneath that hair tie and then go ahead and tuck it underneath the actual bun. So this was the easiest way that I can get all of the hair up without it feeling so heavy on top of my head. And this is probably one of my favorites as well. You can jazz this up with flowers and such and it will look so pretty. So yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which one is your favorite style in the comment section below. Um, also check the description box if you wanna see how I installed these um, um, jumbo box braids. I will have that information down in the description box or in one of the cards on this screen. Thank you again so much for watching and I will talk to you guys on my next video. Bye guys!